Docs Manifest. This container was the one carrying that banana shipment. It originated in Brazil, and it heads back there today. Great work, Addison. Maddie and I worked a case in Brazil together about a year ago. That could be the connection. I mean, maybe that's part of the clue she left me. I, I kind of wish there was a window in this place. Chica, if you're worried, you can wait outside. We got this. No. If you got this, then agent in training Ember Evergreen's got this. Oh no, this is not good. We're locked in, there's no way out, and not a whole lot of air. This was a trap. Hey, we don't know that yet. But we just need to find a way out of here. At least we have some light from my glitter bulb. Okay, Ember. Deep breath, Ember. It's not like we're trapped in here forever. Just until we reach Brazil. On the plus side, my cousin Paolo lives in Rio. On the negative, it could take two weeks to get there. Sweet cow's milk! Okay, look, if this really was a trap, then whoever locked us in here clearly wants to get rid of us. You guys, I'm really starting to worry that my Your sister, sister could be in real trouble. In here. What? What? Michaela? Who else but Maddie would know we'd be here? I don't know, but our main priority is finding a way out of here. Addison, try breaking into the ship's computer mainframe and programming the system to reload the container onto the dock. On it! Spiders. Shh, you're gonna scare him. Well, we wouldn't want to do that. Should we try and squish it? <gasps> I don't have a big enough shoe. Oh, it's a tarantula. Mm. They're not poisonous. Its crate is addressed to the Rio de Janeiro Zoo. Guessing his friends are headed there. Friends? Yeah, of course he has friends. Mm -hmm. uh, Addison, how's it going with the ship's computer? Still trying. Just, um, keep that creepy crawly far away from me. Don't you listen to the grouchy whittle notebook. Spiders are the world's most misunderstood creatures. They're vital to the ecosystem. They eat pesky insects and protect crops. If you didn't have corn spiders, entire cornfields could be destroyed. No cornfields means no corn. That means no tamales, no tortillas. I say viva las arañas. Bad news, Em. I can't get enough of a Wi-Fi signal inside this aluminum death trap! Anyone else feeling a little caliente? Tarantulas thrive best when the temperature is between 70 and 75 degrees. They don't do well much above 80. Then we have something in common. Something's most likely keeping tabs on this fella's climate. Like a wireless thermostat. With a dedicated signal. We have one in Cafe Adams to monitor our walk-in fridge. I can try to hardwire Addison to its transmission. And I think I know where we can find it. I'd go in there, but someone else is gonna have to hold Bernie here. I don't think so. You two seem to have a special bond. Well, I guess Maddie always said, face your fears. This is just staring mine right in its hairy eyeballs. Well, good luck, Em. Uh, you're coming with me. Great. Hello, I'm coming in. Oh, after tonight, everything is going to change. Well, I can't be far. Just look at all these irrepressible fangirls screaming and bouncing up and down like crazy. I'd like to thank all you awesome people for coming out here tonight as I embark on this epic journey, a real live, once in a lifetime historical event. I don't think there's one saving grace today. We don't have time to listen to his speech. As I soar through the clouds and into space, 
and post my Snapchat story, I'm going to eat a Milky Way bar while actually looking at the Milky Way. How sick is that? We've got to figure out how to get inside that central building. Any thoughts? Maybe it's time for a little eruption. I have all the ingredients. Now here's what we're going to do. Hey there, George. How's my favorite security guard ever? Hey, hello, Karen. This is my friend Bryden. We just wanted to wish my dad good luck before the launch. So if you could let us in, that would uh, be No, great. no, I'm afraid the building's on full lockdown. No visitations during launch time. Oh, man, you're kidding. I was really hoping to... <gasps> oh, no! The sculpture! What happened? What a mess! A very pink mess. I thought you said a little eruption. I might have overshot it. <gasps> that was awesome! Central, this is Georgia North One. We have a possible break and entry. <sighs> Brad Bandwidth from Mango Glen, do you pick door number one, door number two, or door number three? Ooh, I don't know. I like the number one, but two could be twice as promising, and then there's door three. Door number three it is. It's a voice recognition lock. An authorized voice is the only way that door opens. Perfect job for Addison. She matches voices flawlessly. Aw, love you too, bestie. Hi, Cam. It's your dad. Call me back. Mimic my dad's voice and say, Charles Coyle, access code, Echo Mike Charlie 2. Charles Coyle, access code, Echo Mike Charlie 2. It's over. It's muy triste. And because of me, Michaela has to leave town. Right in. We're all to blame. Hey, is it true? Um, has Michaela left school? Yeah, she had to move. Her mom got a job in another city. Really? The teacher? Pardon me up with Devin DeMarco today since Michaela's gone, and uh, she kind of scares me. I think Heard that, Kyle. Ooh. Every word. Like my latest skull? That's definitely gonna leave a DeMarco. <laughs> Always on your side, but I'm guessing the Quill would not be happy about this. I just have a hunch Carson Lazarus is somehow behind all this. Nobody wanted Innovate destroyed more than she did. And with the girls gone, I need your help. Oh, you need me! We are a team. Always have been. Where you go, I go. True BFFs! Are you crying? Uh, no. I just have a little pixel in my eye. Uh, <clears throat> hello? I'm here to spray for ants. <laughs> so not cool, Catnip Everdeen. There catnip behind their catnip? What are you trying to tell us? Something's not right. Oh, there are pH strips in your lab kit. Of course. We use pH strips to test it. If there's no color change, it'll confirm it's drywall. But if the color changes, it's something else. Water. Oh, good thinking. Stay hydrated. Not for me.
I knew it. The acid levels show that the wall isn't made of drywall or wood. And some pieces are floating, suggesting it may be plastic, since many plastics are less dense than water. And since styrofoam is a type of plastic, it could be that. I must say it's a pleasure watching you work, girlfriend! Go, go us! Go, go us! That feels weird without the girls.